Hello everybody. Had a couple students ask about citing online images and website images, so I figured I'd make you a video real quick. I have found here a cute dachshund puppy on Pixabay. Pixabay, if you're not aware, is a wonderful source for finding online open source images. So I have this cool, awesome, adorable little picture and I want to cite it. I also have open the Purdue Owl APA electronic sources and the in-text citations. We'll get to those in a second. Whenever I'm citing a source, I always make sure to get the full reference information for the reference page first, and then you can use that to make the in-text. So what I need for a web page or piece of online content is the author, the date, the title of the page, the format, and where it was retrieved from. So I just start at the top, author. Now right here, I don't have an author specifically listed, but there is a username here, Conger Design. And one thing to note, I have this on half my screen, so it moves it down here. So if you're accessing it from a tablet or a phone, it'll kind of look like this. But if I make it full screen, it's over here on the right. So just keep that in mind that web pages will adapt most of the time to the screen size. And some of the information may be in a different place. So I have Conger Design. So over in my references, Conger Design. And I want the date. The date is a little bit farther down. And it tells you right down here, created and uploaded on 20, in 2016. Now next is the title, title of the page, and in this case it will be the title of the image. Now this image does not actually have a title. The user did not give it a title, so we have to use the title of the entire page. And you can use that looking at the top, Dachshund Puppy Young Animal. D-A-C-H-S, Dachshund Puppy Young Animal. Notice that only the first word is capitalized in the title, and then we have to have the format, which is an image we have retrieved from in the URL. All you got to do there is copy this whole URL and paste it in there. Now notice I did not put the date. You don't have to put the date for online sources anymore um, unless it's something that's likely to change like a wiki. So that is our entire references page. One thing I'm going to change is because there's only one reference you make that reference instead of references. Then I'm going, I don't want it to be a link. Now we're going to pretend we're in the actual website now. This is the website. I have this picture. So let me copy the image, paste the image. So I have this picture in my website and I want to cite it. So down below this picture, I'm going to do my in-text citation. On the in-text citation, all you need is the author and the date. So, Conga Design 2016. I think that was right. Conger Design. Conger Design 2016. Now, if it looks terrible on your website to have the actual citation immediately beneath the image, you can put it as a caption. You could put it as a footnote. So, if I wanted, I could insert, insert a footnote and move this down there, however you want to do it. Um, you have a little bit more leeway on creating websites or things like that than you do with actual papers, with physical papers, because there's not really an official APA website format, so you just kind of kind of adapt it, and that's a lot more of that is up to your own interpretation or your professor's interpretation, and I'm telling you as your professor, make it look good. Um, just make sure that you cite everything. Make sure that you cite every single image that you did not personally take with a picture or draw. So make sure everything is cited. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'll be happy to help. Thanks.